Hello, my name is George. This drawing was created using AutoCAD. The purpose here is to recreate the solid model of the object shown. I'll erase the solid and then redraw it. The problem is one of many from my book, Mechanical Design Guide, and I plan to make videos and upload them all to YouTube. My students at the Technical Institute where I teach are having fun with them and when they are available for download I'm sure you will enjoy them too. For the first step we'll erase the small video uh, viewport containing the bracket. Next we'll double click inside the large viewport to have access to model space. Now we'll uh, use a polyline and trace the perimeter of the front view on the bottom and the top view above it. And then I'll move those uh, views uh, to the upper right corner of the large viewport. You will notice that uh, I also copied the holes uh, as, because they have to be extruded as well and be subtracted from the bracket. You must remember that when you trace the views use a polyline which is a continuous line and because AutoCAD will only extrude polylines and a circle is a polyline. You can tell this when I hover over it with the mouse it all gets highlighted. That tells me there's a polyline on top if I do the same on the bottom, there's a polyline there. At this time, it's a good idea to move into the southeast isometric view, which, and the button is located on the view toolbar. The drawing is not too clear, so we'll have to use AutoCAD's pan and zoom commands so that we get a better picture of, of what's going on. In the next step, we're going to extrude the upper piece and the bottom piece along with the holes to a distance of 0 0.06. And then we're going to subtract the holes using the AutoCAD subtract command. Now that the pieces have been extruded and the holes subtracted, we end up with a wireframe drawing that looks similar to that. In the next stage, we want to rotate the bottom piece 90 degrees. To accomplish this, we'll use AutoCAD's 3D Rotate command. When you use the 3D Rotate command, you'll notice that uh, the axis appears. We select the object, and then the axis will appear, and you put it on a base point. Uh, you have a red, green, and blue axis. We want the part to go in the direction of the red axis, so I'll click on the red axis and type 90, and that will rotate the part. This is what the drawing will look like after the part has been rotated. Now then, the obvious thing to do is to move the upper part using Auto's O-Snap and, uh, and move it on to the uh, side piece of the bracket. and add them together with AutoCAD's union command. The result is the bracket is formed and the last thing to do is to put a corner on that edge piece on top here because it has a radius of 0.12. We accomplish that with the filler command with a radius of 0.12, select it, hit enter, and that will do it. The solid model is now complete. Consequently, this will be a good time to shade it with AutoCAD's visual style. Using AutoCAD's visual styles toolbar, we'll select the conceptual visual style and shade the bracket. The drawing looks fine, so now we're going to zoom extents and then we're going to go to the top view so that we can see the whole drawing better. The drawing is still not too clear, so we have to pan and zoom some more so that only the 2D drawing is visible in this viewport. 
After that is accomplished, we'll double click outside the tool, the viewport, and make another viewport which will contain the solid model. To do that, we'll use AutoCAD's MView command, M V I E W, and select two points. Once inside the small viewport, we have to, we, as I say, we double click to get back in the model space, and then we're going to zoom to the southeast isometric view, and then pan and zoom so that we get a better view of the solid model. Now that the drawing looks good, we'll double click once again outside the viewport so let's get back into paper space. And don't forget to make sure that both viewports should be on the same layer called viewports. You can use the match properties button on the standard toolbar to accomplish that. I won't do it now, but if we wanted to, we could freeze the viewport layer and then the outline of the viewports would disappear and the drawings will remain. This is the end of the tutorial. However, another clip uh, will now be added so that you might become aware of other videos which I am producing. For more information regarding the videos on this clip, please check out YouTube or contact me via email. And don't forget to practice making solid models. It's fun. Thank you for watching.